but the big news is it is the birthday of the NHS and we're all going to sing la, la, happy birthday la, to la, you la, happy la, birthday la, la. to you no we're not going to do that yeah. see what I'm going to do I'm going to ask for a minute's silence for the NHS on the grounds uh, that if it isn't dead already uh, it very soon will be and actually even Tony Blair has said that today he said there is no future for the NHS unless they fix it it's because just, it doesn't work I mean does there, it there were, was there more a, a sign of this being an absurd national religion yes. forget God we now worship the NHS forget God 1500 <laughs> health workers uh, who work for the NHS yeah. are currently gathering at right. Westminster Hour I've got Abbey a question for to you to celebrate 7 million people waiting to be treated I've got a question for you will they be putting that down as one of their holiday days uh, one of their rest days one of their duvet days yeah. one of their work from home days or will it be actually a paid day at Westminster Abbey? Well, they'll be paid all right. It's a special method of making the waiting lists even longer. Yes. Get 1,500 workers out of the picture. Why are they not actually working? The Shouldn't they be at work? It's, it's a disgrace. What's and going it's on? It's so mad. The health secretary, Steve Barclay, saying yesterday, oh, it doesn't need too much, just a few tweaks. No, yeah. it doesn't. And it's evolution. It's ridiculous. It's yeah. useless. The yeah. NHS is useless. Yeah. Exactly Why right. can't we face up to it? Why can't politicians have the guts to tell us the truth mm. about our loud health service, one of the worst health services in the world that we ludicrously describe as the envy of the yes. world. If it's the envy of the world, why has nobody ever copied it? Well, nobody's ever copied it because it doesn't work. Because it's rubbish. It's quite simple. Um, and also, there's a great piece in The Sun today uh, in which they basically laid bare every single sort of health service in the world. How much is spent per head, how many people per doctor, per capita, all of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And it is not, by any stretch of the imagination, the envy of the world. And in fact, there are many places where more money is spent per patient. Yeah. However, what they don't have is more money than the NHS has. The NHS has more money than any other health service per head of population, but they spend it all, 50% of it, on non-medical stuff. Yeah, yeah, 200 billion quid a year, uh, but Rishi Sunak generously has just given them another 2.6 billion for reasons that escape everyone. Uh, f there are 1,400,000 people who work for the NHS. Politicians today saying every single one of them is absolutely magnificent. No, they're not. They are the workers in a union useless health service, yeah. so they're not that great, are they? I mean, pretty much every other country in the world has more hospital beds per 1,000 people than the NHS. Our cancer deaths per 100,000 people are the worst uh, in the Western world. Life expectancy in this country is no better than it is anywhere else. Um, and in fact, the amount per money per spent, spent per head, rather, uh, is lower than almost every other country as well. Yeah. So what do, they do, what do they do with all the money? It's a joke. And uh, So on the front page of the Metro, uh, you know, the London newspaper... Oh, yeah. uh, today is a woman who was the first baby mm. ever born in the uh, NHS oh, yeah. way back in 1948. And she's busy telling us how fantastic the uh, NHS is. You're in trouble finding the front page there. Uh, yeah, it's it's a, the one at the front. Yeah, I know. I can't find it. Why the can't you page. find it? It's the one that turned it over. It's the one at the front. Yeah, I Heaven know. Sake. I know where it is. Yeah, it's on the screen, luckily. Yeah, uh, Let's yeah. do it Nye's way. So we want to go back to the future and go back to Nye Bevan. Uh, so you want to go back to 1940s living. You found it yet? Uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, there you let's go. let's well do done. it nice. Kevin's way. found the front page. I found well done, it. Kev. I found it. This is the sort I was of the one who spoiled the story, so uh, lay off me on this one. Uh, <laughs> so she's saying, the first baby born in the NHS says the health service, 75 today, is a national treasure that mm. should be cherished. Uh, her name is, and she's called Nye after of course Nye she is. Bevan. Of course her she name's is. Anira Nye Thomas. Bless her. And she goes is she on 75? Say, yeah, and guess what she did for a job? Uh, she's a nurse? She was a nurse. Oh, right. So Very it's good. propaganda, folks.